Hello, my friends. My name is Amanda with Amanda Panda Projects, and today I have a super gorgeous thrifted patriotic USA blocks little decor here, okay, you guys? I got these blocks at a thrift store. I've been using them since Christmas. And then the paper, I used a mixture of Digital Deco Designs American Grunge. If you need the link to any of that collection, let me know. I can send it your way, or you can always comment Manda link on Facebook only and that will send it automatically to your messenger you just select digital deco designs and then search for American grunge I also used printables from my own printables that I designed I don't have those listed yet those are only in the crafter party so you got to be in there and then it's some random scrap of paper um, this candlestick was also thrifted I got that at my local thrift store it's pewter I was going to auction it off but I didn't have time so I ended up keeping one of them and I painted it all white with Waverly plaster chalk paint i took my usa letters which were sent to me in happy mail they were laser cut i also painted those with my waverly plaster chalk paint and then i grunged them up with my keels dark wax okay i did give everything a couple of coats of white to get it nice and covered the letters i made sure to get the edges and then i grunged it all up so that it matches the american grunge vibe of all of the paper that i'm using okay i did print the paper onto cardstock not rice paper since i want it to be more of like a scrapbook paper and then I don't have to paint the blocks. I don't have to paint the blocks white. Okay, so now the blocks have six sides. I chose six patterns of paper. So I traced each of the papers three times, okay? So six pieces of paper, three times each because there's three blocks. So I did some hymnal pages. And then like I said, it's American Grunge Pattern 1. Then I did three times American Grunge Pattern 2. And then I did three times American grunge pattern three and so on and so, so forth until I had all six of my patterns traced. Um, the blocks are a little bit wonky. They're a little bit misshapen, but I'm going to sand them after. So I just went ahead and just traced the same side of each of them just to get the general shape. When I go to sand it, it will all come together. So then I cut all those blocks out. Let's see, there's six blocks or three blocks times six sides. So there's 18 little squares to cut out. I obviously didn't show me tracing all of them, you guys, or show me cutting them all. So I put them into three piles so that I, one pile for each of the blocks. And then here's where I had a little bit of a system. <laughs> I Mod Podge down each side but I did them in sets of twos. Here's the reason why. I wanted the paper to be opposite each other because if I did them right next to each other, it overhangs a little bit and it would, the paper would overlap and it will be really hard to sand it. I will be like pulling up the one side while I'm sanding the other. So I intentionally did like opposite sides and I did them two at a time. So that way there's nothing next to it and I can go ahead and sand it nice and flat. And then when I go to do the square next to it and Mod Podge it, I won't be ripping up the other paper. I hope that makes sense. It was basically made it, basically it just made it easier to sand this way by doing it in sets of two. So I Mod Podged two of them, sanded two of them. Then I Mod Podged two of them, sanded two of them. So I did it in like three sets. Um, I love this paper together. I love the vibe and the feel of it. I like this way more than I like it, the really bright and blue. Well, I don't know why I don't love the color bright, bright blue or bright red for the most part. I like these deeper ones. So once I had all three blocks done, I took my Keels wax again and I grunged up all the corners and edges. I just went around each block, did the cor hit it with the corners and edges, used my finger to blend it in a little bit. I just did this quickly. And then I arranged them. I wanted them to be like a certain way so all the different patterns showed and I messed it up. I had it arranged right and somehow the top and the bottom block are the same paper. So you can't really tell. It still looks super cute. If I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> but I don't even know how I did that. I swear I had it arranged the right way. And then when I glued it together, somehow the top and the bottom were the same paper. But it's different parts of the paper so you can't even really tell. All right, and then I used my E6000. I forgot that I wanted to do Spanish moss on the bottom, so I glued everything, and then I real quick threw the Spanish moss on there, um, and it worked out fine. So will you guys take a minute and make sure that you are following the Amanda Panda Project's Facebook page, you guys. I've got so many cute videos coming. I actually already filmed them all. I'm just going to be dropping them over the next week or so, and I do not want you to miss anybody. So make sure you hit that follow button, or if you're on YouTube, the subscribe. 
Okay, once I got them all glued together, stacked on top of each other, it needed a little something, something. So we added a rusty star on the top of the U on the right and the bottom of the A on the left. Um, and then I, I wanted, the USA just needed something, but I didn't want to put another star. So I just added a super tiny, cute little twine shoestring bow, and that was just what it needed. Here it is, all done. I love, 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 love this. I should have showed my entire entertainment center here. I have all my patriotic crafts. It's starting to, it's beginning to look a lot like the 4th of July. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of this cutie. Are you going to try to get your hands on some blocks so that you can make this one too?